All right, guys, we are going to look at chapter six, which is all about subtraction. So let's um, review really quickly the vocab that we learned. The first um, words are are left. So that's talking about um, if we have a group of objects and some go away, how many are left, all right? Then we have take away, which when we have a certain amount of objects and we take away some, right? We're gonna subtract those, that's another vocabulary word. We subtract, and then we have how many are left. So we're gonna use these are left, take away, subtract, to do some subtraction, and then we are going to use our minus sign and our equals sign to create our subtraction sentences. Now, this is something that we have seen in our morning work, and of course, we went through a whole subtraction chapter earlier in the year, but let's do a little review. So, I am going to write a little scenario. I'm going to write seven take away six. So how could I model seven take away six? And how would I figure out how many are left? So what you can do at home is you can get something, remember we talked about goldfish, I think for addition, but you can use anything, any object. I'm gonna use, of course, my cubes. So you wanna get seven, that's our first number. Seven of whatever the object is. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So we have seven, then we want to take away six. So let's take away one, two, three, four, five, six. So how many are left? Just one, right? So if we want to take that and put it into a subtraction sentence down at the bottom, we start with seven. So we're going to go seven, take away, which is also our minus sign. Our minus sign means we take away. So seven take away six equals, that's gonna tell me how many are left, equals one. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna do one more and it's gonna be a little more of a challenge. So let's see. All righty, let's do one more and make sure that when you are practicing your subtraction at home, that you are using these vocabulary words, all right? You're saying take away or you're saying subtract and then you're saying are left or equals um, when you're making that sentence. So let's do 10 take away, how many? Let's do take away three. 10 take away three. So how many cubes am I gonna put out here to start off with? I'm gonna put out 10 cubes, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I have my 10 cubes out. How many am I going to take away? All right, I'm gonna take away three. So I'm gonna take one, two, three. All right. And how many do I have left? So we want to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I've got seven left right here. So let's go down here and let's write that subtraction sentence. So how many did I start off with? 10 minus or take away. How many did I take away? Three. And then how many are left equals? How many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Excellent. So I'm going to challenge you at home to build yourself some subtraction sentences and keep practicing because like I said with addition, this is going to be a big, 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 huge thing that you guys are going to continue to build on when you get to first grade. All right. Bye.